Hey everybody, I wanted to talk about what you should publish on KDP. I've been doing this for under 90 days and have been able to see results. And so I wanted to share with you some thoughts about how to get going because it's important that you get quick wins so you don't lose interest. So I wanted to just give you some prompts to think about what to publish and how to know if it will be profitable. And I just wanted to write down a couple notes because I think sometimes we see something online and we just copy it and that's okay. Sometimes we see things and we take inspiration from it. There is a category that I'm really passionate about. And so I started publishing for it and I saw another KDP person copy the exact phrase and they haven't gotten any sales and it's actually i have copyright permission to use the phrase so i wonder if i need to report it to kdp but the thing is i'm really passionate about the topic and i'm going to be able to keep publishing things about it so i want you to think about what do you love and think about things that you wish you had when you were a kid and then go into Amazon Cognito and go see if it's in there, right? Go see if it comes up in the search bar. And this is a free, this is a free way to what we would call validate the book. And this is really overlooked because this is what I did to produce 240 books in 90 days. Okay. So I guess some are still in draft, but I slowed down because I learned more about the process of keywords and, but it all came down to my interests. So once you identify what you love, go validate it go see if there's a spot on amazon if it's being searched if it comes up in the top 10 searches go for it and if it doesn't put it on your list for one day and then come back to it okay so i really wanted you to think about how easy it is when you focus on what you love okay and um when we talk about going to the beginning like i created my number one book right now is something i wish i had when i was little and they didn't make it okay and i did the research and i saw that it was there um the second thing that is the number one seller for me on amazon is a class that i took in high school and i took college credits for it and i love it but i'm not in the field professionally right now. So it was really easy to come up with a pen name and a description and a, a an author central for it, bio, because I, I love it, okay? So you're gonna get burnt out if you aren't focusing on some of the things you love for low content. And it just helps you sell better because you can talk to the pain points more. So, and just remember with, um, KDP and anything that you're pursuing is that burnout is not from working too hard or, you know, it's not, you know, you're doing too many things. It really is. If you don't know where you're going, it's really hard to feel inspired, right? Make sure you have an end goal, right? Having an end goal will really allow you to avoid burnout because if you're not seeing sales immediately, it gets discouraging. So I just want you guys to think about this, about going back to the beginning of focusing on the things that you love and going and seeing if there's any validation for them in amazon.com this has literally helped me not only make 239 books in 90 days but if you go to my previous video for the income report 
has helped me make that passive income. Love you guys. Peace out.